So yes, here it is, the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Balaga. And I had to get the writing outside. I don't know why he stopped that. I really wish he would put that up more of his styles, but. Beluga. What'd I say? Balaga. I'm sorry, Beluga. <laughs> guys hi welcome back to my youtube channel it is a new year it just came up on us pretty quick it flew past us but hey another year all of that new beginnings new me stuff not for me but to each his own i hope you wish you guys the best prosper in any way you see fit go for it but again i'm back with a new video today's video is for my last four uh, cops of 2021 actually one was actually just today but it did drop in 2021 um i hit two on the foot sites and two i had to buy resale i know i know i know i told you guys i would never pay resale for shoes but these two were two that i definitely had to get no doubt about it but yes again one i hit on sneakers one i hit on kids Foot Locker, and two i got from pchla shout out to my homies over there that always take care of me when i miss out on that um release but without keeping you guys waiting much longer let's get into my video so towards the end of last year we had the handcraft what was it air jordan one retro high og called the handcraft you see here the box the nike looks like a little stitching half stitch swoosh and so forth um different colorways which are some colors that are featured on the shoe i really like that and this one is a man size seven as you guys can see a little wide in the toe box for me however it can work out with the right type of sock but here they are and i really wanted this one a lot of people on my Instagram, well, a couple people on my Instagram said they didn't want this one because it was kind of similar to the Mocha. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but me, myself, I wanted it because I do like the different colorways uh, in the shoe. Um, the Mocha just has the cell chocolate and black, I believe. This one, you have the uh, chocolate here, uh, pine green, or yeah, I guess you call it pine green. Um, the black, um, purple. And the gray is actually 3M reflective, which is also found here on the tote box, which is kind of hidden. I thought that was pretty cool with the black sole. And one thing I really liked about this shoe that I really had to look at and see, if you guys can see it here, the tongue is pretty thick and stiff. But here on the ankle, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, the little quilted look around the ankle part there on the inside. And hopefully you guys can see this it is on the tongue as well it's quilted filling i'm not sure how that will feel walking in it but when i tried it on it kind of felt a little stiff so hopefully it has some comfort when you wear it out and it did come with two different laces it had a black lace and white lace and the lace that came on the shoe i thought was pretty cool it's two-toned it has like a salmon and black colorway on it or peach if you want to call it that but yeah this is called the handcrafted jordan retro one high very nice and the jordan logo looks like a patch that's kind of stitched on there i like that as well and then you have again the three colorways here on the um, eyelets chocolate green and chocolate again on top um they kind of look different. I'm not sure if the light shows it. This one is more chocolate, and this one looks like a faded chocolate here. But I like that. Very nice. And midsole cell right here. And you have the swoosh that feels like suede. Um, this is very smooth here as well. And then you have the leather here on the ankle. That feels very, very good toe box leather is very soft i love that but yeah that's pretty much it with this one again i love the colorways i hope you guys were able to cop this again i snagged this one on sneakers it was kind of a weird cop because usually they give me the got them uh thumbs up uh sticker or meme or whatever and all i got was an email just said you purchased a shoe from nike i was like wait a second i wanted my got me uh thing so i could post it on instagram but i never received it but 
I did get it. And here it is. All right, and then my next dub towards the end of the year was for none other, Yeezy Booth, Yeezy Booth, <laughs> the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 MX Rock. I had to get this one because I messed around and sold my, um, was it Daichul or Yeezel, whichever black one had the multicolors throughout it. I felt bad about doing that. So I told myself to go ahead and cop this one because it's kind of similar to it. So I hit it on Kids Foot Locker. Very excited about that. I've been doing pretty good on hitting on Kids Foot Locker. I'm not sure what they changed, but I think I've gotten like, I think I got like four wins on uh, Kids Foot Locker. I got the Royalty Taxis, um, this one, um, the, what is it? Pollen was my first win after they changed it. That was a restock a while ago. And then uh, this and one other one. Which other one I get? Oh, the Cool Gray 11s, yes. So, yes, I've been doing pretty good on Kids Foot Locker. This was my last hit, though, unfortunately. I was like 0 for 4 <laughs> on the bread ones and also the Belugas. So, but I got this one here. And, again, with the boosts, um, I don't know. I get confused kind of with the sizes. Um, this one's a size 7. It fits perfect. It had no issues with it. But on the Beluga here, I'll show you guys in a second. I had to go up a size in it. But yeah, on this one, the colorway, again, it's, I don't know, it may go with a lot of things, but it seems like it's uh, more chocolate and black and a little bit of silver inside. Pretty much neutral colors that can go with almost anything. But yeah, pull tab is back. I like that. I know some releases don't have it. So it just kind of switches it up I guess I'm glad it came with the full tie laces and not the one that has a little bar across that you just pull up and have the slack I, I don't like that at all but yes here it is the MX Rock Yeezy Boost 350 V2 and for my next purchase again I got these from PCHLA shout out to Ann Scotty Larry uh, peace to you guys <laughs> again I cut this the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Beluga very very hot commodity I think this is like the third drop for this one. I had to get this one. I missed the other two. I was like, there's no way I'm not walking away with the Beluga this year. So, or last year. So I ended up getting it from PCHLA. Um, very nice. Um, this one, I was, I asked if they could hold me a size seven. They did. I went there, tried it on. Very, very, very small. <laughs> Again, like I just told you guys, the MX Rock, I was able to get that in a seven fit perfect, but for some reason, this one was much smaller, so I had to go up to a seven and a half. So yes, um, I'm not sure if you guys have these or thinking about getting them, but um, just know that you may have to go up half a size in the Belugas. I'm not sure what they did, but one thing I did notice, if you guys could see here too, the stitching is the original stitching here on top which kind of makes it a tighter fit. Or as here on the MX Rock, it's just a simple. So, so I think that's probably why this one fits better. And the Beluga is a little bit uncomfortable on that big toe because of the extra stitching that they put on top. But yes, I got it, I'm so excited. 350 V2 Boost Beluga. All right guys, and my second one. Resale Cup for the ending of 2021 is none other than the Jordan Retro One Hybrid Patent. I had to get this one. This is a very, very sexy shoe. Red is my favorite color. I love this red hang tag here. I know I swore I would not sell my Blue Chills, which was the same uh, material. I ended up selling them, but I think this one's gonna be pretty safe in my hands, guys, because like I said, red is my favorite color. I love this shoe. Um, came with my favorite color and laces as well but yes this is very nice uh, i'm not sure how the wear is on this i have seen videos where people say don't buy it because of the crumpling um, in the toe i mean i don't know retro 11s have the patent leather around the toe box i have several pairs of those i don't see any issues with it so we're just going to give it a shot if i do wear them but yes i really like this shoe I like that they wrote uh, family inside here in cursive on the ankle The hits of red are just like perfect in the right spots I love the Jordan wing here on the ankle and the black on top of the red. That is a very very sexy look Then you have the red swishes. Oh, I love it 
red so i mean you guys can't beat that you guys comment down below to let me know if you guys were able to cop this if you wanted to um what your thoughts are on it i was see champs kids foot locker sneakers and i think big foot locker yes i was 0 for 4 in trying to hit on this I have an idea why it didn't hit, but hey, I'm not going to comment on that, but I did get it. It's here in my hands. Like I said, I'm excited. I hope you guys were able to cop it and close out 2021 with this shoe here in your hands. But if not, hey, you can always get them at resale. Just be smart about where you purchase it from. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, let's hope 2022 will be better for us in the sneaker game. Uh, let's just keep our fingers crossed. Just keep trying on the apps. I mean, that's the best you can do. Um, that's the only advice I can give you. Like I said, I've been lucky on Kiss Foot Locker with the new updates that they've done as far as the reserve and store, or you can pick it up. I mean, not, yeah, pick up in store or have it shipped to you. Every time I did pick up in store, I did not hit. And I will tell you, when I chose ship to me, I was able to get it. So just a little info there. I'm not sure if it works, but hey, it did work for me. All right, guys. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my four last cops of 2021. Again, I am Jaywalking Diva. Thank you guys for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Leave a comment. Anything of that nature helps this channel to grow. I greatly appreciate it. You guys stay safe out there and peace.